Hi, I'm Irene Bremis, and I am the broker owner of I Bremis Realty, powered by Lair, and I've been in business for over 30 years. I think what makes me a top producer is I'm persistent, and I had a client that uh, was asking for referrals, and one of my clients said that I don't give up until the job's done. So um, when I meet the client, I make sure I follow up. I do extensive reports, I introduce myself to them and give them some information about me before I meet them, and then I meet them, and then I do a follow-up CMA. And I keep following up until they list with me or someone else. <laughs> My CMAs are different than other people's. When I do them, I find that owners are confused, there's too much information out there, and people don't know how to sort through it. So they can go on Zillow or any site and get a number for their house which Zillow only has a 2% accuracy rate. So they're misinformed even before you go out and you meet them. So I spend a lot of time correcting them about what misconceptions they may have in the marketplace. So when I do my analysis, I only take, like the appraisers, comps that are six months back, but I've made it very user friendly. So even though I can do the appraisals and I've taken the appraisals courses the way the appraisers do them, I set it up so I explain what everything means, each category, and it pretty much will point them to the correct number. So that, and even if we don't list it at the number I recommend it and I give a range, when I list it, they will usually come to me and ask for the price reduction. So if you do your job right in the beginning, you wanna spend as much time as you can to have a saleable listing, and then it usually sells very quickly, and if it doesn't, because they decided to try a different option, they have that information in front of them. And they will look at it, look it over, call me back, and then we price it until it sells. So most of my listings sell. I mean, very rarely do I have, I have the lowest deal fallen through ratio in the area, um, and that has to do with my experience. And, you know, you stay on top of it, you give them feedback, you adjust prices if you need to. But I try to set the price, if I can, right from the get-go, unless the client wants something different, because you have to do what they want.